Sadhguru, Namaskaram. Myself, Pratiti Sarkar. I am a PhD student here in IIT. Sadhguru, um, every time we have some uh, submission, me and my friends would plan in advance and uh, we would try to stick to it. But somehow, ultimately it happens that we end up finishing it in the very last minute. So before I used to think like why I wasn't uh, starting it early or why I couldn't finish it early. But then I realized that almost everyone around me is doing the sa uh, same thing and everyone is procrastinating. So my question is then, uh, what's the reason? Why do we knowingly procrastinate? See, uh, the longing that you had when you wanted to get into the institute, you have not maintained that longing. Please sit down, sit down. You have not maintained that same level of longing, how badly you wanted to get in. If you maintain the same level of longing, you would prepone everything that you're doing. Slowly, you slacken up and other things interest you, education sinks down a little bit. If you're doing something that you really want to do, will you prepone or postpone? Will you prepone or postpone? You'll prepone. If love is in the air, will you prepone or postpone? Prepone, sure. Prepone. <laughs> so, in a way, intellectually, knowledge is a love affair. It's really a love affair. If you get involved, it'll become much bigger love affair than emotional love affairs. So, if you conduct your education like a love affair, that you're really involved, then you will always prepone, not postpone. But if you finish too early, that means your faculty is not setting you tight enough time. They must set more stringent time because this is the time of your life where you have to learn how to stretch yourself physically, mentally, in every possible way. Otherwise, life will crack you when you go outside, unless you find a garment job for yourself <laughs> Otherwise, anything else you take up in your life, if you do not know how to physically and mentally stretch yourself without breaking, then life will break you somewhere. So, education time, the time of being youthful is not a leisure time. Unfortunately, you know, in, uh, this may sound like this, a little difficult for you, but you must come and visit and see how it happens. These children came and performed here just now, the calorie, and we have a home school. All these are seven days of the week school. We have planned four to five days in a month as activity days which the children won't know. Someday it will be instead of academics, it will be some other kind of activity. But those activity days are more intense than the academic days. When you're growing up, when you're young, you should not be thinking about leisure. Unfortunately, this culture from United States has come, what is that, TG, TGF, thank God it's Friday. So if you're going to enjoy only weekends and weeks you're going to suffer, that means you're doing something that you have no love for. I'm asking, why the hell are you doing it? Why the hell are you doing something that you don't care for? Because it's your life. Your life is just a certain amount of time. If you're doing something that you don't care for, that means you don't even see that your life is precious, isn't it? I'm asking, is your life precious? If it's precious, you must invest it in what truly matters to you. If you invest it in what truly matters to you, you will always prepone, not postpone. You're also TGIF <laughs> <laughs>